Good morning guys. Today we're going to talk about a bit of an entry level combo. Um, we have covered quite a few similar type of styles to get the guys in, the guys and girls, get them into different aspects of fishing. There's so many different facets of fishing, it's, it's actually insane. Um, all you got to do is walk into my house and look at the fishing room and you'll see how many different facets of fishing there are available to you. But yes, digressed a little bit. Today we're going to be talking about specifically estuary. Now, the rod, we, rod and reel we're going to talk about, this combo is designed and it is called an estuary spin combo. But you can use this for bass. You could probably use it for trout if you really wanted to. Pretty much anything freshwater orientated would be perfect. And then the lighter saltwater stuff, you'd be you'd be perfect with this combo as well. But anyway, that's enough talking. Let's get into the combo itself. Now, this, as you guys can see, is the Eclipse Estuary Spin. Now, it's a seven-foot two-piece rod. It is 100% carbon fiber. It's what they call 100% carbon tech. It's got this rod retails for a ridiculously low price. Um, it's available to all our wholesale clients and at any good store near you. Now, the rod is a very light stick. It's a medium heavy seven foot. So it's got a very nice little reel seat, EVA spinner down and things like that. Locks in very nicely, gives a nice sleek look. That green, some people have said they don't like it. I honestly think it looks sexy as all hell. Um, obviously blends in with some of the bindings that go up. You've also got anti-tangle guides, not original Fuji K-series anti-tangles, they are single foot anti-tangles. They do stop the braid from whipping around with the design, it flips the, any of the loops off of it like that. Now, as we said, seven foot, two piece, there's the tip section. It has a lot of tip. Now it looks like it's bending a lot, I'm pulling very hard on that tip and he's not bending that much. So this is not designed as an ultra light. Now we covered some of the different aspects, some of the species we spoke about fishing ultralight. This is not an ultralight combo, this is a medium heavy combo. This is something you're going to be using for your slightly heavier bucktails, say three quarter ounce, one ounce thereabouts. Um, similar to your, your jig heads, that size with a paddle tail or with a little jerk minnow um, onto the back of that. So this is not the combo to use for the the guy wanting to throw little sprat sticks. This guy's gonna struggle a little bit because of the very lightweight. It is a fast action rod, but you're gonna struggle to get that, that flick. You're not gonna get the, the right distance for that. So anyway, that's, as we said, more for things. You can even flick little live mullet on this. It will be brilliant for that. You're gonna be able to target your cob, your Springer, your Garrick. Um, you'll be okay with uh, spotted grunts on this. It's Ideally with them you like a little bit of a softer rod to absorb the, the head shakes and because you've got a softer mouth you don't want to tear out but this will handle that. It does have enough forgiveness in the tip that you can do it with that. So all round as a rod you can use it for throwing your lures, you can use it for fishing bait. You Even on the rocks you can get away with using it. The seven foot is a bit restricting. What we normally go with is eight foot and under is more for the estuary and then nine foot and up is more for the surf so it's just so that you can get that little bit of extra distance so now onto that my favorite reel for this your your estuary environment the type of spinning we do does involve a lot of reeling so you need a reel that's going to be able to handle it this is the entry level combo this is the lowest reel i would go in the range this is the the ninja 3000 beautifully smooth reel they have quite a potent little drag on them um, we have a few guys that have used these to catch all sorts of things. I mean, they've done it with uh, with skates in the bay, yeah, in Durban Bay. They've used it. It's it, it's phenomenal for that. It's actually a very, very very strong little reel for its size. It's also very light. The look, we don't we like to say that we're not the looks doesn't affect it that much, but I mean, look at it. <laughs> you just got to have one glance at this thing and know he looks sexy or she looks sexy, depending how you want to go in that way. Um, little line clip, nice to keep a thing, air rotor, all the different features, that's not really what we're interested in. It's it's a smooth reel, it's got a nice little handle on it, it, it folds away nicely. It's a, it's a small compact reel, but it does have enough of a gap on it, because the main consideration on the rod is that your eye sits quite high up. Now that's a little bit limiting when it comes to smaller reels, 
but because the ninja's got enough of a gap on it you're going to get into this so you can't use a 1000 size and yeah it's not going to work you have to use something i'd recommend two and a half as an absolute minimum and then more likely the 3000 in the Daiwa range so you got your ninja you got your rod you're sitting pretty you still got quite a lot of money in the bank but you don't actually need a lot of money because what you're going to do